Welcome to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Please follow me on Instagram at Box with G5 Jeff TV. That's B O X W I T G5 Jeff TV. Now, Gennady Golovkin, Sergey Derevianchenko, they wanted to throw their names in the hat for fight of the year. This was an excellent fight. Great action, great tactical fight between two really, really good fighters. Gennady Golovkin got the unanimous decision. Um, a lot of people disagreed with that decision. There was even some booing after the fight. I don't think the booing was for Triple G. I just think that they just didn't agree with the scorecards at the end of the day, and they have a right to feel that way. Now, as far as Triple G is concerned, yes, he's getting some criticism right now. Um and he's getting some support as well. Eddie Hearn came out, said that Triple G was sick the whole week. And that contributed to how he looked. Um, you have other people that's like, hey, Triple G's 37. He's getting old. Or, hey, I think he lost that fight to Derevianchenko. You got some people that's like, hey. Triple G was getting hurt to the body. The referee saved him. Hey, Triple G couldn't land his money shot and get Sergey Derevianchenko up out of there, even though he opened up a cut with a legal punch, which they called a headbutt, which was incorrect. And he got a knockdown in the first round. It wasn't nobody saying he was sick when he got the knockdown in the cut. It wasn't nobody saying that. Sergey Derevianchenko was in there doing some really, really good work. And bottom line is Triple G was just in a fight. He was just in a fight. And Sergey Derevianchenko has this herky jerky type style. Just he does a lot of bouncing around and he gives angles. He gives angles. And he did a great job of just getting the proper angles on Triple G to rip his body shots without catching any backlash. You know what I'm saying? Sergey Derevianchenko was coming in through the side door. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't coming in through the front door where he had to pay an admission fee. And you knew Triple G was going to make him pay an admission fee via a jab or um, a hook. He was coming in through the side door and he was getting them, getting them body shots in. And that was great for Sergey Derevianchenko. But... Going forward, this was the best thing that could have happened to Triple G. If he would have knocked Sergey Derevianchenko out within the first four rounds, or he'd have just got a knockout, period, it, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have said much. To the hardcores, it would have been like, yeah, you know, that was a good victory for Triple G. But when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, keeping it all the way a hundred, it come down to it. Triple G looking as vulnerable as he did, it just opened up all options for him. It opened up all options for him, and that's how boxing works. When, like, when you look dominant and you knocking everybody out within the first four rounds and you just cleaning everybody out, then everybody avoids you. But when people see an ounce of vulnerability or they think you're getting old or they think you're getting soft, then everybody comes out of the woodworks. Everybody comes out of the woodworks. So he was having a problem getting Canelo Alvarez in the ring for a trilogy. I guarantee that Canelo Alvarez is going to sign up for that that trilogy. He's definitely signing up for that trilogy. He like, Sergey Derevianchenko did that to him? Yeah, Triple G getting old. I got him right where I want him. So him looking real shaky in the Sergey Derevianchenko fight, probably just locked down a trilogy fight for him and Canelo Alvarez and as tight as that fight was with Sergey Derevianchenko as tight as it was at the end of the day it's gonna benefit Triple G because even if he doesn't get a Canelo now you have a situation where you you looking at Demetrius Andre for unification you can get a Triple G Demetrius Andre for unification on the zone. If they got uh, Jamal Charlo 
over there. That's a fight. That's a big fight that more people will tune into. Now, Eddie Hearn was saying that Triple G was sick all week and that that's why he looked the way he looked. I'm telling you right now, if that Triple G from Saturday night walked into the ring with Demetrius Andrade, Andrade stops him. That Triple G walks into the ring from Saturday against Jamal Charlo, Jamal Charlo stops him. That Triple G from Saturday walks into the ring against Canelo Alvarez, Canelo stops him. Even though Triple G was in a dog fight, even though I had it 6-6, but I gave Triple G the fight by one round because of the knockdown, Triple G didn't look like Triple G at all. And it wasn't it wasn't it was more than Sergey Derevianchenko being competitive. It was more than that. Like there was a lot of subtle things that Gennady Golovkin usually does that he wasn't doing. And he looked physically just tired. But he looked like that in the the second Canelo fight. That's why I was just like the sickness. I'm not buying it because he was gassing halfway through the fight with Canelo and he had to catch his second win. But hey, that's just my observation. That's just my opinion at the end of the day. But with him not necessarily looking like Triple G on Saturday, it just opened up all the options for him. So he got major paydays coming to him because the zone is going to have pressure to basically cash out on triple G and triple G and his camp is going to have pressure on cashing out because he's not getting any younger. He's only going to get slower. And with him having a relative new trainer, it's only so much the trainer can add to his arsenal at this point in his career, but I think time is of the essence. Triple G can't take on any more Sergey Derevianchenko's because he's going to lose. He's going to lose. Every fight from here on out, he needs to be fighting Canelo, Andrade in the unification, or if Jamal Charlo comes over to the zone, he needs one of those three fights. If they force him to fight Derevianchenko again, he might lose. I'm just saying it flat out. He may lose that fight. You know what I'm saying? Because Derevianchenko did all that with a nasty cut over his eye, and he got knocked down in the first round. If it wasn't for that, Derevianchenko wins this fight easily. But this was a blessing in disguise for Triple G because I guarantee you Canelo Alvarez is going to come knocking at the door for that trilogy, thinking that, that it's sweet with Triple G now. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.